Explanation of Shinhai Gold All Sliming Cyanidation Process The crushing and screening system adopts a two-stage closed circuit process. The raw ore is fed to jaw crusher through the feeder for coarse crushing. The coarse crushing discharge is conveyed to circular vibrating screen for screening by number one belt conveyor. Screen products that do not meet the grinding particle size are sent to cone crusher through number two conveyor for fine crushing. The fine crushing discharge is conveyed to the circular vibrating screen dot via number one conveyor to form a closed circuit of crushing and screening. The screen products are transported as the final crushed product via number three belt conveyor to the powder bin. Enter the grinding stage. Grinding and classifying system adopts two-stage, two-closed circuit process. A feeder is set up at the bottom of the powder bin to transport the powder to the wet grid ball mill for grinding via belt conveyor. The discharge of ball mill is classified by number one hydrocyclones. The bottom flow of number one hydrocyclone group returns to the ball mill. To form a closed circuit grinding and classification system. The overflow of the cyclone group enters the pump box of the second stage classifying slurry pump and is pumped by the slurry pump into the number two hydrocyclone group for classification. The bottom flow of the cyclone group enters the overflow type ball mill for regrinding. The discharge of ball mill is returned to the pump box of the second stage classifier slurry pump. To form a second closed circuit grinding and classifying system. The overflow from the cyclone group enters the pre-leach thickening cyanidation carbon slurry operation. After the overflow of the cyclone group is removed from the wood chips by the chip removal screen dot self flow to thickener for pre-soak thickening operation. The bottom stream of the thickener is pumped to the number one leaching tank by slurry pump for cyanide leaching operation. Leaching tank is installed in steps for the convenience of slurry flow during cyanidation. Sodium cyanide solution flows into several leaching tanks that force cyanide leaching of the gold slurry. In the second to seventh leaching tanks adding activated carbon, adsorption of gold from the pulp.to form gold loaded carbon. The airlifter lifts the gold loaded carbon into the previous leaching tank.4 countercurrent adsorption. So on up.to leaching tank number two. After leaching, the slurry is recovered by safety screens to recover the missed gold bearing carbon into the buffer tank. Then the pulp enters the filter press for filtering. The discharged tailings are transported to the tailing pond. The countercurrently adsorbed gold loaded carbon is discharged from number two leaching tank. After separating the gold bearing carbon through the carbon lifting screen, the slurry is returned to the number one leaching tank. The gold bearing carbon enters the desorption electrolysis system, desorbed by desorption column. Separation of gold loaded carbon into gold containing precious liquid and depleted carbon. After regeneration of lean carbon, it can be returned to the leaching tank for repeated use. The desorbed precious liquid enters the electrolytic cell for point solution operation. Finally get gold mud. Gold ingots can be obtained after smelting. Shinhai devotes to providing one stop customized turnkey solution for mineral processing plant service.to building a modern mine with rich benefits for you.